Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be talking about one of the things that most of the students face difficulty in, which is word problems. All right, guys. So make sure you watch until the end of the video to understand a little bit more about word problems. All right, let's get to it. So, what do we have from this question right here? We have that the speed of the boat in still water is 8 kilometers per hour. If it takes the same time in going 20 kilometers downstream as it takes in going 12 kilometer upstream, find the speed of the water of the river. So, of course, when we look at word problems, all of the word problems will always give us something. And you have to, of course, find something. Like that. So we know something and we've got to find something. So in this case, let us write down what we know from the question. So we need, we know that the speed of the boat in still water, still water means that the water doesn't have any upstream or downstream force or there's no speed of the water taken into consideration, right? So we know that the boat of the speed the boat speed in still water is 8 kilometers per hour and we know that it takes the same time going 20 kilometers downstream in going 12 kilometers upstream. So what do we know from this? We know that let's say time is equal to time on it. Right? But of course the distance covered in both of these times will be different. Alright, so let's talk about, so in this equation we need to know the formula of the time all right guys so let's write down the formula of the time time what is the formula of the time this formula of this time is distance over speed correct guys so the formula of the time is distance over speed and of course whatever we need to find we'll take that as x so in this case, they want us to find the speed of the water. So let's take the speed is equal to x. All right, guys. So the speed is equal to x. So let's start solving this. All right, now think about it this way, guys. Let's say the speed of the boat is 8 km per hour, right? So if the speed of the water is 2 km per hour, and if we go downstream, the speed of the the speed of the actual boat would be eight kilometers per hour, which is the speed of the boat, and two kilometers per hour, which is the speed of the stream. So the actual speed the boat will be going downstream would be ten kilometer per hour. All right, guys. Now in the same way, if the speed of the stream is two kilometer per hour and the speed of the boat is eight kilometer per hour, and let's say it's going upstream right so facing the direction of the stream so it will be eight kilometers in the speed of the boat and the speed of the stream coming down would be two kilometers so the actual speed of the boat going upstream would be just six kilometers per hour all right guys so let us get to it so now let's say we have two sides to this equation one is going upstream and let's say the other one is going downstream. All right, guys. One is going upstream and the other one is going downstream. Now, we know that time is equal to distance over speed, right? So, distance D over S, let's say, is equal to D over S. All right, guys. So, on the left-hand side, we're talking about upstream. And on the right-hand side, we're talking about downstream all right guys so let's talk about the distance so distance going upstream is equal to 12 kilometer right it is given by the question so we know distance going up is equal to 12 kilometer and the distance going down is equal to 20 kilometer correct guys 20 kilometer now let's think about what will be the speed of the boat going upstream as I mentioned just now now in this case we don't know the speed of the stream correct so the speed of the actual boat going upstream would be the speed of the boat minus 
adjust the speed of the stream, right guys? So if it's going up like this and the stream is coming down like this, the boat will go slower than the boat is going downstream, right guys? So the actual speed of the boat going upstream will be 8 minus x. Correct right, guys? Because we know that the speed of the boat in still water is 8 kilometer per hour and since it's going upstream the actual speed of the boat will be 8 minus the speed of the stream which is x. Alright guys. Now on the right hand side let's go to the downstream part. Right? So when the, when the boat is going downstream the actual speed of the boat will be the speed of the boat plus the speed of the stream. Right guys. So we know that the speed of the boat is equal to x and, in, and as we have taken here, the speed of the stream is equal to x. Therefore, the speed of the boat going downstream would be 8 plus x. Alright guys. And now we have an equation right here in which we can use to find the value of x. Right guys. Let me quickly close this up so there's no distraction. Alright. Now. So. Now we have an equation, right guys? Now let's get to it and find the value of x, which is the speed of the stream. So easy, easy now. In order to find the value of x, all we got to do is cross multiply, right guys? So we have 12 multiplied by 8 plus x is equal to 20 multiplied by 8 minus x. All right guys, now this is distributed property. And don't forget to watch my video on algebraic identities to, to, to understand a little bit more about distributed property, which I'm doing right here. All right, and on the right hand side also, we will use distributed property to break this bracket. Now, 12 times 8 would give us 96 plus 12x is equal to 160 minus 20x. Right, guys? Now, let us, let us move x to be with x and a constant to be with constant so we have 12x plus 20x is equal to 160 minus 96 32x is equal to 64 x is equal to 64 over 32 which is equal to 2 therefore the speed of water or the speed of the stream is equal to 2 kilometer per hour. All right, guys. Hope, hope it opened up your mind a bit more on how to solve equations or work problems in this kind of scenario. And of course, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and comment below if you want me to solve any other sort of question in work problems. All right, guys. Until next time, have a nice day.